Well, I want to thank everyone for being supportive and to that signed the petition, contributed in any way they have, send their prayers. All it, it's all what's kept us going here. As you can st see, we're still having um, sessions here, even on the cold days of the month. The little troopers are out here riding, and this is what it's all about. Um, as of today, we are still in negotiations with the bank, but have not been able to sit down face to face with the bank. Still going through their lawyer. We're not getting uh, answers in the in a, in a timely manner. Mm -hmm. So we're really trying to get the bank to sit, come to the table and sit down and talk to me face to face. We see a variety of different dis children with all types of dis disabilities. We have kids mainly on the autism spectrum because my own son has autism. Besides the kids with autism, we have kids with Down syndrome, we have kids with emotional behavioral disorders, uh, cerebral palsy, there's a whole range of different disabilities that we work with and it works for everyone. There's this bond between horses and people that just can't be explained. An eviction would definitely impact my family and I know it would break a lot of people's hearts, especially little young people and a lot of volunteers because we get, not just does this program impact um, volunteer or riders, but it also makes a big impact on the volunteers, the, par the parents, the families, you know, in a whole. I'm here because I like working with the kids and I like horses. And I just love to see how these kids progress. We have been limited on how many new students we can get because you don't want to bring your kid here and hope for a long-term positive uh, experience when you don't know whether it's going to be here or not. And we just work with every kid that's here and we don't even think about it because if we thought about the fact that next week they may, may not be able to ride, it would be too disheartening for all of us. Maya has been now for over a little over a year riding and she is absolutely the most enthusiastic <laughs> horseback rider you've ever seen. But she has really um, learned a lot of, I would say, more compassion, empathy, uh, because of being with the horses, that does not come naturally, really, typically with an autistic person. That's one of the only places in her life where she can really be in control. And I think it's, it's wonderful. So I would hate to see the, something happen to the center because she's not the only one that I've noticed improvements. Any effort that anybody puts forth, I don't care if it's a prayer or a dollar, is an amazing thing. And we are grateful. Very good.